Hello again, welcome back to World Cup Spy, sponsored by our very good friends at Renault Van. Some top class action on the pitch today, but all everyone's talking about out here in Cape Town is England. The word on the street is that Fabio Capello will indeed resign if England fail to beat Slovenia in Port Elizabeth, just up the coast from here in Cape Town on Wednesday. We'll tell you more about that in just a second. But first, as always, the transfers. <laughs> Now we're hearing that the Inter Milan right-back Maicon has told his club that he will be off this summer. Manchester City will be waiting to hear whether he chooses them or Jose Mourinho at Real Madrid. I think he might well be headed to Spain. Our own Sunday Mirror says that Spurs boss Harry Redknapp wants to bring Atletico Madrid striker Diego Forlan to North London. I'm not so sure that he'd be a good signing. I think Spanish football suits him better than English football where he struggled at Manchester United a few years ago. Now, Sol Campbell's mulling over two offers, according to the Sunday Express. One of them is a one-year contract extension with Arsenal, and the other is a two-year deal with Celtic up in Scotland. Which one would you choose? And here's one for you Portsmouth fans, because new boss Steve Cottrell is going to make centre-back Stephen Caldwell his first signing. Now, Caldwell's 29. He was released by Burnley last month after they went down from the Premier League. Now, the news of the world say that the exciting young Man City winger Vladimir Weiss is wanted by Newcastle. He's a good player. It'd be a very good signing for Chris Hutton's side. The screws also say that Bolton are about to snap up the highly rated Everton striker James Vaughan. He's 21 and he'd cost a million pounds. And details have emerged of the package that Manchester City are willing to offer free agent Joe Cole. He's got everybody after him. Nobody out here can understand why he can't get into England's first team under Capello. The Sunday Express say that City will offer him a £110,000 a week deal and pay £3 million in agent fees. But we here at Spy that he's going to Manchester United. Now, more in England and World Cup Spy has been busy over the last couple of days. We're hearing that there are growing rumours of rebellion within the camp against Capello's hardline regime, with players feeling as though they're being treated like children and angry at performing under such scrutiny that, uh, and a fear almost of being dropped if they make a single mistake. Lots of calls too to drop Wayne Rooney after his poor performances in the last two games. I don't agree. I think he should play as a lone striker in a 4-3-3 attack formation. That would get the best out of him and his teammates, in my opinion. But what do you think? Should Capello drop Wayne Rooney or should he keep him in the lineup? You know how to get in touch by now. Let me know what your views are. Now, just on the manager situation, there could be a few tug of war situations if Capello does indeed go. Lots of papers saying today that Roy Hodgson could take over at England, but of course Liverpool want him and Harry Redknapp would also be keen for a crack at international level. The paper's also saying that either Mark Hughes or Sven Juran Eriksson could take over at Fulham. Both of them understood to be keen on that job. We'll wait and see what happens there. Anyway, as we suggested yesterday, it's not only the England camp where there are big problems. France have sent Nicolas Sanelka home for insulting their coach Raymond Dominic, but we're hearing out here that other players hate Dominic just as much and he has totally lost all control over that dressing room. Of course, Laurent Blanc due to take over there after the World Cup is over. Spain have been forced to issue a statement insisting that their coach Vicente del Bosque will keep his job with anger, reaching fever pitch after their defeat to Switzerland last week. The Cameroon coach Paul Aguen insists he will not resign even though the country wants him out after they became the first nation eliminated from this World Cup. Sam Aleto horrendously played out of position in the first match, of course, for them. Nigeria's Sami Keita claims he's received death threats after his red card cost his country victory against Greece the other day. We're hearing also of a huge pay row within that squad because bonuses haven't been paid to the players and the staff, allegedly. Problems, problems. Time for some of your messages. And on YouTube, Cheeky Spencer Mike says here, uh, you, you've only just got to South Africa and you can be back in the Football Spy studio by Wednesday. Yes, we know, Spencer. Thank you very much for pointing that out to us. Era18 says, in reference to Rooney, you cannot put all of your hopes on one player to win you the World Cup. I think you're absolutely right. Stella Baines thinks uh, Heskey should be dropped for Wednesday's game because it forces Steven Gerrard out of position. And we've got, I think, time for just one more. Ivor, 1977, thinks 4-4-1 uh, with Lennon and Cole on the wings, Barry and Lampard holding, and Gerrard in the hole 
uh, the way to go. And with my belief in England beginning to flag a bit, JKJ Tastics reminded me on YouTube that I actually do know what I'm talking about. He says here, Darren, I remember last summer I asked you to make predictions and you predicted Inter Milan would win the Champions League. Definitely not a view many would have taken. So kudos to you. Thank you very much indeed, JKJ Tastic. Let's cross our fingers and hope that England can yet turn it around in Port Elizabeth on Wednesday. World Cup Spire is back in association with our friends at Renault Vans tomorrow. I'll see you then.